tell you really quickly what I did not mention in the last video about absolute value inequalities is when you would have no solution or infinite solutions. So because the absolute value bar literally mean distance from zero, distance is always a positive value. So when you have an absolute value expression, and it says that it is less than or equal to a negative number, that's not possible. Distance can't be smaller or equal to a negative number. So any absolute value inequality that is set up to less than or equal to negative, a negative number, automatically that's a no solution. Now on the flip side of that, literally flip side, if you had I don't know what that number was before. Let's say 10. An absolute value greater than or equal to a negative number. Well, because absolute value means distance, and distance is always positive, that means any distance, all distances are greater than negative numbers. So if you have a setup like this, absolute value expression is greater than or equal to any negative number, including negative one, negative very, 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 very small number. It doesn't matter. Any negative number, then that's when you will have all real numbers or one way to say it is infinite solutions. And a way to show infinite solutions is negative infinity to positive infinity. All right, that's it.